At the time butchers are slaughtering cattle at the storehouse of Marwa, far north region of Cameroon, Noru Muhammadu arrives to collect the horse homes, recycle them into a work of art. Everything starts first at the slaughterhouse. This is where you saw me picking up the horns. This is where everything starts because I sort the horns according to what I want to do. If I have a product that I want to assemble, I come here first to the slaughterhouse and open spot. I sort the horns. It is in the artisanal center of Mara that Nora has his workshop. He makes the furniture and the set with us horns here. He makes several objects that has made the traits to show his specificity. The first operation is to place horns in boiling water, extract the bone that is inside the horn. Once the operation is complete, it can polish, sandpaper the horn in order to make it clean and attractive. In this part of the country, Mahamadu is the pioneer in the processing of beef horns. But for production, we focus on the production of cheers. That's what works for most people. Beef horn parlors, that's what people appreciate more. There are several sets. There are single sets and they are set with foam. There are royal sets. A simple living room with foam can cost at least 350,000 CFA. A few years ago, Others were surplus, especially during tourist seasons. Attacks by Boko Haram set in the area has caused tourists to flee. Today, he makes an average of three to four salons a month. Came to buy a chair. I saw that this chair is very comfortable and beautiful. In all the travels I have done, I have never seen this quality of chair. I see that here in Marwa, we can make stuff like that with beef horns and it's beautiful. Nora strongly believes that the recycling of beef horns could be a good job for young Cameroonians and he is ready to perpetuate this know-how which he believes is not about to disappear.